Working on the creep wave, we'll bring down Ancient Black Dragon. Up in front, very tanky. They'll heal up Dendi. They still have two Ancient Creeps here. Alliance just very reluctant to fight head on into this, but there's no split push, there's no flank, there's only slight creep pressure top. There's nothing to draw Navi back for at least a couple of minutes until this Aegis expires. Their damage is really slow without yep. focus fire. And Dendi does not want to waste it on the tower without the eggs, so he just pokes, he gets caught again by an ice path, again the breathe fire. Again, the dragon battle rages, but one man's a, dra a man, and one of the others a dragon loaded there. Does get the good chrono though, off into Ira. He'll go down quickly and gets dropped into the middle of Alliance. Can they burst it? They will. Alliance holding the high ground, turning on the Navi. General down, arm style as well. They spring the trap. They only got a one man chrono, but that was all they needed. Beelining really towards Alliance. What it's Loda in the trees. Do they get a good crush? He's the gem carrier. They jump Loda. Dendi's ready as well. The BKB coming through. Loda just melting. Dendi might kill him off the bat. He does end up getting off the chrono on the general, and they will possibly lose Dendi. And Loda survives through it all. Just walks away. Cool guys don't look back at explosions, and Loda looks very cool right now. Four drop. Navi forced to throw out a buyback here on Dendi. How did they not kill Loda in that fight? It's the Alliance Force staff. We saw it in the matchup versus Maneski, saving them in the base defense. And again, Ake casting on Loda so that he can pop his BKB, time walk some of the damage off, and get that big Chronosphere to win them the team fight. Oh, the living legend coming back to life here in a critical moment. 23 to 20, they begin their siege. They're down three heroes on the side of Navi, and Dikyara basically sacrifices his own life just to stall. It doesn't allow Dendi to get a crucial kill in S4. Alliance have abandoned their brother, and they will suicide the Timbersaw, so no gold, but now Dendi, he's out too far. That's a dieback on the Dendi Mon, and Alliance, this might just be it. They've got 100 seconds to go. And if you look at Chen's net worth at the end of the game, he had 15,000, whereas he was maybe like 6,000 above the slaughter, just not enough farm on Slardar, not enough farm on Didier Ra, and I must say, I must, I, I favor Navi a lot more when they have Didier Ra on a farming core, like uh, Faceless Void or Lone Druid, like we saw a little bit earlier. Time but slow down in front. Navi need to break the smoke, they need to scout it. Arc sound, good position here to do it. Illusions moving forward, Loda. Oh, he moves away and they're gonna get in position here. So I'm coming out, the Roshan and critical HP! Loda walks in, the ready to get the last hit. He's trying to grab that Aegis, he snatches it too! Oh, it couldn't be worse for Navi. Can they possibly fight their way out from here? EGM surviving, Ditya Raw, mauling S4, but they're gonna lose Arc style quickly. Beaten down by Bulldog, not getting enough. They heal bomb on Ditya Raw, that's about a quarter of his HP instantly gone! Can they keep him alive? He's dunking for illusions. He does match the finish off the ages. The heal bombs from Ake. So far, the real carry of this fight. And now they will finish off for Navi. Catastrophe in the pit. They didn't break the smoke, Ben. 9 10. Intervit. False promise. No split push here. Navi. Blood in their eyes. They see tier fours. They're going to let the creeps assist. The Naga Radiant Solutions valiantly trying to shove out mid, but intercepted one in the mid by Slardar. Blinks and crushes it. An alliance just waiting. They'll leave the siege engine in front. Ditya Ra, he probably never thought it would get to this, but here comes Loda. Dropping the song. Unloads the illusions. Some illusions continue to script mid, but Navi are going to go for tier 4s. They have to try to actually take a team fight here. There's the dunk on the S4. Can they slay Ditya Ra? No, they want Sineko instead. Looking to bring down the Oracle, trying to isolate him on the backside, but somehow that Oracle just won't die. Loda, though, doing work. Everything for Sineko. Can they get him? Rubik's down. Dazzle is falling. Then the stun from Dendi. Loda's going to drop. That's about to be three, possibly four. Loda forced to scramble home. There's no counter push. Navi, they pulled off the miracle here. Three out of the game. How did it come to this for Alliance? They had this in the bag, but they couldn't close Navi out. We're going to a game three. There's nothing left here for the Swedes. Navi lives to fight another day. Loda will take a moment to think about it, but there you have it. They're born to win, at least for this one, Ben. And shying away from their tried and true formula, which has gotten them this far in the tournament. Alliance, drop one versus Na'Vi, and it will end up even a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> this looked like a very quick and decisive 2-0, did it not? First 30 minutes in, 
everything going according to plan for Alliance on paper. Going to mid wall simultaneously coming on the top side and they lasso S4. The general actually drags himself back into Loda who gets up the crush trying to rev up for the Sonic Wave but he's totally chained son. Locked down. Loda next. Loda will fall. That is two gigantic kills for Navi who also managed to take down the tower mid in this time. It was denied by Bulldog. A consolation prize, but very much consolation. The real prize was those kills. Yeah, General's Bad Rider has just been a completely different story as soon as he got his Blink Dagger. He had a terrible start, too. Gives up first blood. Level 3 when Loto was 6, but man, has he turned it around. And bon on the bottom lane, Bulldog getting chased down. Oh, this is another track guild. No escape for Bulldog. It's not going to be an easy game for him, and Navi show why. On a jaunt through the trees. Now what does he see? He sees Bulldog. Four staff into a swap. POTs are coming. Bulldog four steps himself right into the waiting arms of the general, who promptly complies by lassoing and almost killing though. He is gonna get the kill in the end. Dendi though is in a bit far. Yule step around to the Queen of Pain. and Echoes arrive. Reinforcements coming in. Hard and fast for Navi. Charging towards S4. They kill off the egg. They kill off S4. They move on to Lona. They're mowing them down. Alliance drop four. It's a wipe! Navi! Just completely wrecking them. Boy. Creeps are actually hitting tier 4 towers. They're committing hard to this push, but Navi are ready for it. Arc style engaging forward. Loda trying to set set up the follow up here to the Queen of Pain ult that comes in. Diving pretty far for this one, but Ditya Ra just auto attack him in regular werewolf form is going to get the kill. S4 almost dies to his claws. Ake's there. So much delicious food, but General's in too deep. He will end up dropping. Bulldog looks to try to away. It's like an ult number two, and he's off to the races here. Can Alliance TP out? Who's got one? They're all going to need him. EGM has one, but he can't even get it off as he's about to fall to the wolves. They munch him up. They kill off the bird too. Alliance just can't handle Ditya Ra beyond godlike. Oh, that's Loda, drags him in again. It's another track kill, but Navi don't need gold. They just need dead bodies to litter this map so they can wipe EG Alliance and the rest of them off. And they get the second kill here. Rubik down, already bought the gem. Doesn't have the buyback. Loda buys back, but he only crushes Sineko. And it feels like this is how it ends for Alliance. Not with a bang. This is a whimper. This is ugly. Even a Sunstrike massacring Alliance running them down this is not family friendly at all and there it is gg you give out navi every last one of their signature heroes and they just run circles around alliance i heard you call them eg at the end i was like dang don't put them down like that ld <laughs> egm <laughs> egm ugly ugly way to finish the series for alliance felt like they could have taken a 2-0 and you got to give credit to Navi. They they had an entire game plan built around the bounty hunter track gold and they executed it to perfection here.